Hello everyone, this is Kyle from We Tech Care Review and today I'm going to show you how you can calculate the first business day of the current month in Power Automate Flow. Now, there's quite a few steps to this. There's a number of ways that this can be achieved. This is just the way I've sort of pulled it together. It's going to be a bit of a deep dive, but stick with us and uh, let's just get started. So basically, as you can see, we're in Power Automate Flow here. I'm going to do a scheduled cloud flow. So I'll call this calculate business day. And what we want to have this to do is to just run every day. We can have it to run at 8 a.m. Okay, and I'll create that. Okay, so first step done. So that's going to run every day. Now what we want to do is the first step when this runs is we want to do a compose. And in this compose, what we want to do is we want to do a start of month and then we want to do UTC now. So basically that's going to calculate the first day of the month from the current date. Now, next what we want to do is we want to initialize a couple of variables. So these are going to be used for the calculations when we get to you know determining which day is the first business day. So this first variable I'm going to do Actually, let me just rename this so we can keep track of what's going on. So, calculate first start of month. And I'm just going to call this first day of month, make that a string. And then in this one, what I'm going to do is I am going to do another expression. So I'm going to put day of week. And I'm going to open my parentheses. And then if you just come back to the dynamic content, we want to do that with the output. So basically, this calculates the number of the, the start of the month. And then this is going to get the day of that week. Uh, should be OK. OK, so that calculates the day of the week. Next, we want to create another variable to calculate the first business day also used for the first business day and then next what we want to do is the final variable is we want to call today is the day and we can leave that as a boolean and we want to just put that to false This will make sense toward the end of the flow why we're going to need this variable. Um, okay, so good stuff. We're doing well. So next, what we want to do is we want to add a lot of conditions. So with the way I've sort of built this, there's a bit of hard coding in it. But again, depends on whatever day the first day of the month falls on, we can sort of calculate the first business day from that. So if I now just add a condition, and I'm going to rename this to be... First is Sunday. Okay, so we want to get that first day of the month and we want to do that if it's equal to zero because basically if I just look back up here, so this day of week function, so what it does is it basically gives you a number, zero to six, and that those numbers calculate to what day it is. So if it's zero, the day is a Sunday. If it's one, the day is a Monday. And it follows on up to six being that Saturday. Now, this is how we're going to calculate this. We're going to do a condition for each one because the way we've done it here is this calculates the start of the month. So it gets the date at the start of the month. Then this actually gets the day of that start of the month, which gives us a number. And then if that number is zero, then that means we know that that first day is a Sunday. So let's just keep going through with the flow. So if that first day is a Sunday, what we want to do is we want to set a variable. And we want to set the first business day. And what we want to do with that first business day is with the calculation, this is where the hard coding comes into it, is we want to just set that as two. Because basically, if that first day of the month is a Sunday, then the first business day is going to be the Monday, which is the day after, and that's the second of the month. 
So then what we also want to do in this step is we want to add a condition. And we want to say if the first business day is equal to And then we want to do an expression here. So what we want to do is we want to do a format date time, current date, and then we just want to put that in day day format. So again, that's going to compare if the first business day has landed on today. So if those are equal, then that means yes. So today is the first business day of the month. So what I'm going to do here as well is I'm going to do a set variable. And then I am going to just set today is the day and i'm going to set that as true so again basically i know that this could be quite messy um or it could be quite confusing but as i said this is the way i've built it to calculate the first business day and how it's going to work yet yeah, is you know we've got the first day of the sunday so that's calculated that zero we set that variable to put the first business day as the two as the monday so that's the second so because this will run every day when it gets to the second so on the first monday it says that that first day of the month was a Sunday. It comes into here. It sets that as the second. And then if today is the second, then we're going to set today as the day to true. Mm -hmm. So then what we're going to do is we're going to put a condition down at the bottom, which means if today is today is true. So today is the first business day of the month. And that's in that condition is where we're going to put everything that we want to execute when that business date falls. So what I'll do is I'll just replicate these very quickly for the rest of the day. So I'm just going to copy that to my clipboard. And I'm just going to add six more of these conditions, and then we'll just go into each one and configure it. Okay, so we'll rename this one. So then if the first day of the month is a Monday, which means if the first day was a number one, we come into this true value. And then what we want to do with this is we want to set this to 01 because basically that first day is the first business day. It's a Monday. And then also we can just leave that as the same because that will calculate against the day's date being the one. And then today a day is true. Okay, so that's all good for the Monday. Uh, let's rename this one. So this is Tuesday. means if the first is a two we want to come in here and we want to set that first business day to be a one as well because again that's the first business day if that first business day matches with today's date that's fine And finally, if that first day of the month is a Saturday, we want to set this number to be the third because that's the first business day of that Monday on the third. Okay, so that all looks good. Just double check. Yep, that all looks fine. Set the today variable is true. Okay, so finally, what we want to do is we want to do a, con a final condition. And I'll just rename this today as the day. And then we just put that today as the day variable. If it's equal to true, then you can run whatever that you want in here when it lands on that first business day. So if you want to send an email, um, if you want to do anything else, that's where you put it in this true column. Okay, so just to recap this, um, the flow that we've created, it runs every day. When it runs, it calculates the start of that month. So it gets the date at the start of the month on the first day. 
Then we set a variable to change that first date into a day value. So that'll give us from zero to six to say what day the first day of the month fell on. As you can see in my example here, it was a Saturday. Um, we set a business day variable, which is fine. That's also a variable. And then we do a lot of conditions. So if that first day is a Sunday, then that will be a true. If it's a Monday, Tuesday, etc. Again, in our example, it was a Saturday. So if I come down to this Saturday, it'll hit the true value. And then what it'll do is it'll set that first business day variable to be the third. So as you can see, this was the first, there's the second, the Sunday, and then there's the first business day of this month, the Monday. So that's the third. Then it comes into this condition. If the third is the same as today's current date. So again, if, if it's fell on to this day and that third matches, we set that value to be true. So today is the day. And then we down in this condition, today is the day. If that equals true, then we run all of our steps. Now, obviously, you could put your steps in these true values, but you would just have to replicate that seven times to run, depends on each one. That's why I've sort of done this final condition where if the day is true, then we run our steps. Um, as you can see, I've just put an email here to say today is the first business day to show you that true value where you would add those steps. And there you go. That's, that's how that will work. So I hope this video has helped. Um, if you're sort of interested in this Power Automate and, and how that works, you know, with, with other apps on the Microsoft 365 stack, I will put a video link here on how you can build a, a birthday app within Teams using Power Automate Flow. This is a good little app, you know, to calculate people's birthdays, send automated reminders so you know someone's birthday is coming up. But yeah, I hope this video has helped. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Thank you. Mm -hmm.